Hey, what's going on? <clears throat> Excuse me, we are back with another quick look at getting ready for Batten Kill. I registered for Batten Kill the other day, and usually I would do a training race on a Tuesday night before the Sunday race if I could, but <clears throat> with school, midterms coming up, I did not have that opportunity, so I decided to go for a really hard ride on my own. And it worked out pretty well. It was really hard. And for the first uh, hour 19, so cruising out, um, was normalizing 370. And pretty much, as you can tell, if there was an uphill, I was going hard on it. And, um, you know, not sprinting out, but just trying to keep the pace high. And some pretty good efforts. And actually... The nice thing that I wanted to see was how would I compare to things like the race. This was the race on Sunday, and this was my own training ride. So all long efforts, you know, 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes were pretty similar and actually a little bit higher. But it was cool to see that a 1 minute and a 30 second actually increased um, 1 minute by a lot. And I think I'm really starting to hit some form um, without getting too tired. And again, I was just show the legend. Hang on a second. Metric three. You go to more chart settings. Show legend. Shade the zones to uh, the black's pretty cool. I don't know what day to take. Show events. Let's see if, what that looks like. Mm. We'll try it out. And as you can tell, this is all real short stuff. Um, the 30 second actually improved, which is cool. So I thought I'd be a little tired, but even the minute, I think there's a minute, yeah. So we saw that before, and TSS obviously less. Good average power. So, <clears throat> I'm at work right now. I'm going to go out and Go for a ride today and then chill out tomorrow a little bit and Friday and do some openers. I'm going to try and do something at Bat and Kill. Might as well, right? I wrote a little blog post about it at heyob1.tumblr.com if you want to check it out. And if you happen to like these uh, Golden Sheeta updates and reviews or whatever, you can subscribe to this channel or just give it a thumbs up. It makes it easier for me to add other features later down the road. So, so far it seems like people are finding beneficial and just be consistent with looking at your power files. That takes what we're recording for two minutes, maybe, um, know what you're looking for. And it's going to be a lot easier than if you go to upload a week's worth of data and it's like, wait, what did I do that ride? Where was I? How was I feeling? You know, you want to be looking at power data with your actual body. Cause remember, this is just a computer program. It does not know what you're doing at work, what you're doing in your relationships with people, what you're doing in school, in all these other facets of life. So it might say you're fresh, but you might be stressed as hell. And maybe, you know, who knows? Um, you need to be that meter and guide of, of what you're really doing and understanding at some points in time, which we can talk about later, you're going to be in a hole and feeling tired and fatigued. And that's because you're training a lot. And then you're coming up on like a big rest week. But you can't just go by this computer program. It's a great, awesome, amazing tool, but know yourself and experiment with yourself and don't just take someone else's word or someone else's computer program to tell you how to race and train and just try and soak up as much information as you can. And uh, everybody's a coach. You just got to find the right information for yourself. So with that, take this or leave this, uh, take it as a grain of salt if you want. All right, I am going to go back to work. Talk to you later.